Hey everybody, how you doing? Uncle Vinny here. You know what's coming up? That's right, health chat. Grab a cup of coffee, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Hey everybody, I'm Dr. Nick Circalone. Welcome to Health Chat. I am all alone today. I don't have my co-host with me. Ryan is actually doing a session, so she's not with me today, but you have me. And we were going to actually talk about something different today, but since she's not able to be here, I wanted to hang out with you guys and chill out and see how your New Year's went. Hopefully you had a great time. Everybody stayed safe. You made some New Year's resolutions. Um, I heard today that uh, somebody was talking about, you know what, I am going to eat like an adult. That's my New Year's resolution. I'm going to start eating fruits and vegetables. I'm going to have less sugar. And he said he did that last year and he's going to continue it this year. He said for the first three days of last year, he did good. And after that, he kind of fell apart. So I don't know about you, but I haven't really made a resolution. I'm basically just going forth and saying, you know what, I'm going to make some changes that are going to be a little bit different. I think I talked about those last week. We're not going to do the same things we've been doing for the past 30 years. We're going to change some things around. And I really wanted to know what people were thinking. So I was asking a lot of patients today if they made New Year's resolutions. And you know what I found out? That most people are not making New Year's resolutions because... They go, I never keep them anyway, so I'm not going to do them. I don't know if that's such a good idea. I think it's a really good idea to make those resolutions, try to stick with those resolutions, and if you don't, just try them again. It's like this program that I've been on eating. every. I have to eat every three hours, so that's six meals a day. I do like fuelings is what we call them, and then I eat a, a, a sensible meal at the end. And this is what I've been trying to do. But what's really cool about this is if I miss one of my fuelings, no big deal. Three hours, I get to change it again. And that's the same thing we should be thinking about with our New Year's resolution. What are we going to do? If we fall off the bandwagon with our resolution, just keep going again. One of my resolutions is I want to do either a book or an audio book. And I want to do at least one a month, maybe two a month, because I'm in my car a lot of the time, because from my house to my office, usually about a 40-minute drive. So I can actually get into doing a book. One of the things that I also said, I was going to pray a little bit more, get try to get closer to God. We've been, I've been doing that all along. I listen to a devotion every morning. I listen to a, um, a sermon every morning. My Monday... Wednesday and my Tuesdays, I have special guys I listen to, and Thursday is kind of a throw up in the air, and, and that's what I do. So if you have a resolution, just kind of let it be, let me know. Put it in the chats, and I'll take a look at it during the week, and what we'll do is we'll kind of answer some of those questions because I'm really intrigued on what people are doing for the, their resolutions and what's going to be changing. I don't know about you, but I'm excited about 2023. 2023 is going to be an awesome year. Regardless of what happens, we're still blessed. We still live in a great country. We still have the best place to live in the world. And that's what, that's what it's all about is staying where we are, being where we are and being who we are, where we are. Because I'll tell you what, one of my big things that I like about being in this country, and I talk about that a lot because I love living here, is that we're able to be benevolent to other people. And that's important because I feel that that's part of like what we should be as a people is to be more giving. I think for the past, since 2020, you know, going now into our uh, third year of this pandemic, we have been a little selfish and we've been keeping things close to the vest. And I think it's time in 2023 that we get out there and we start living our lives by helping other people and not being so selfish as we have been during the pandemic. Because I know I have been, I don't know about you. But I'm been keeping things close to the, the to the chest. I'm not wanting to do a whole lot of things with a whole lot of people because I kind of enjoyed hanging out with my family and being with my family. But you know what? 23, 2023 is going to be a little bit different. We're going to be out there putting ourselves out there, being more involved in community, being more involved in our church. Those are the things I think that we should start thinking about. And I've been thinking about the show as well. What are we going to be doing in 2023? What are we going to be adding to like help you guys? Because 
I love doing the show and I love entertaining and I love informing you. So one of the things that we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking at new topics on how to incorporate some of the things that are going on in the news, current events in healthcare and bringing them to you in a entertaining and an informative fashion. One of the things I was going to tell you, one of the a little tidbit that I found this uh, this week, which I thought was really interesting. A lot of us do deal with homeopathic medicines, not necessarily homeopathic all the time, but we're taking vitamins, we're taking minerals, but specifically homeopathic, the FDA is coming down on them now. Before they weren't regulated by the FDA. Now the FDA wants to regulate what we can actually put in our bodies as far as homeopathic medicine. Don't know if it's going to pass, but they're talking about wanting to regulate that. If they start regulating that, a lot of people are going to be very, 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 very upset because a lot of times people go to a homeopathic medicine rather than taking some of the medicines that have been giving and synthetics that have been developed over the years. Homeopathic medicine has been around since the 200 years at least, and it started in Germany with Dr. Hahnemann. And when I uh, lived in Philadelphia, we had Hahnemann Hospital, which was a homeopathic hospital for a long time. Now it's, of course, gone mainstream, and it's just like any other hospital in the city. So those are kind of some of the things that we're going to be talking about. We're going to continue to talk about dieting. We're going to continue to talk about exercising. We're going to give you some hints and some little avenues and some little nuggets that you can use to help get you healthier because 2023, it's all about me. That's what we want to do. We want it. It's all about me, meaning that your health is going to be one of the most important things that we can talk about because I don't know about you, but at my age, at 60 years old, I want to be healthy to play with my grandchildren, run around. We were doing that this weekend for uh, New Year's, and it was a lot of fun. I don't want to get older and not be able to do that. You know, I I've seen a lot of older people that are just like standing up straight. They're healthy. They're excited. They're and then I see people my age are like, oh, I don't know what I should be doing. And they're talking like this, and they're not living the life that they should be living. So that's what we're going to be talking about here on our show. So please subscribe to us. Make sure you tell your friends about us, share us, so that way we can handle more people and influence more people and be able to enrich everyone's life because that's what's important. Danielle, Ryan is going to be with me a lot more. She's going to be adding to the mix, which I think is fantastic. We're going to be having some other doctors on the show talking about some of the things that we can do. We're going to try to get some alternative stuff too, like acupuncture and yoga and, and some coaches that we can get into. And we will be talking about the program that I've been on is losing weight. I'll be, I'll be telling you everything that I'm going through. How much weight have I lost? How's my exercising going? I may even share some videos on me exercising and giving you some ideas. I've been coming up with uh, a couple of ideas. And if you like the ideas, please let me know. Type them in the chat so we can kind of take a look at that. But I'm looking to do an exercise program for older people. Now, I'm not talking about you're going to get out there and be buff and just like, oh, I'm Tony Horton. But that's not what we're going to be doing. We're going to be doing stuff that we can do at home that's going to help us be stronger, help us become more flexible, and be able to do the things that we want to do, but not so much. There's going to be a less impact in there, and we'll be doing higher reps, less weight. We may be using bands. You know, for a long time, I thought bands were a joke. But let me tell you something. If you use bands correctly, they will wear you out. So we're looking at all of these things, and hopefully you guys will stay tuned in. You'll check us out. Today is just we're, hey, we're just talking about what we're going to be doing in the next year. But next week, we're going to be talking about with Danielle, we're going to be talking about the attitude of gratitude. There's been, there was a great study that was done. And what happens is they took, I think it was 25 people in each group, 50 people, and they made them sit down and write down their problems that they were having. And the other group got to write down what they were grateful for. And we wanted, and they were actually looked at and seen how they interacted with community, how they interacted with themselves, how their brain chemistry was working. And guess what? The people that wrote down their problems and how am I going to fix this? What am I going to do? How am I going to take care of this? Those people did worse than those that were being grateful. 
So that show that we're going to do, that being Attitude of Gratitude, I think is going to be really interesting. So I got, I want you guys to tune in and watch that. Well, I didn't want to take a long time today. I just want to give you a kind of a, a cursor about what we're going to be doing, where we're going to be going, where the show is going to be going. Please leave us some messages. Let me know what you want to hear. See if there's something that you that are interested in that we can bring to you. And you know what? If you put in there in the chat that this is what you want to listen to, we'll mention your name. Guys, it's going to be a great year. I love you. Take care. And we'll see you next week.